Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just like Windows that has a task manager, Microsoft Edge also has its own browser task manager. So just to do a quick overview as to what the Edge browser can do and what it's all about in case you were unaware. So if we head over to Microsoft Edge to get to uh, the browser's task manager, we just head up to the main menu. Head down to more tools and here you'll see browser task manager and we just click on that to open it. And there you can see looking very similar to what's going on with the task manager and with Windows. Now, uh, Google Chrome also has a task manager, very similar to what you've seen here, but uh, just to focus on Microsoft Edge for the purpose um, of this video. Now, just to go through some of the uh, features that are available in the task manager in case you're unaware, and just to kind of break this down. First of all, we get uh, process monitoring. So these are all the processes or tasks that are listed here to the left-hand side where you can see a list of all the active tasks uh, that are running in Microsoft Edge, um, like your uh, tabs, your extensions or components that are running in the background. And yeah, you also get a process ID um, for all those different tasks. So if you are maybe running into an issue and you need to do a search online, you can also use the process ID, which will just make that a lot simpler to do. And something else is the resource utilization. So very good for monitoring the performance of your browser. So yeah, you can see how much memory or CPU resource resources are being used. So in this case, uh, the GPU process, as an example, is using 189 uh, megabytes thereabouts. And over and above that, you can also see there's also network activity. And this is where you can see which tabs or extensions are actively using your network resources. And this allows you to basically just overview that data consumption if they are using any network resources. So a couple of key components there just to monitor the performance um, of your browser and all those different processes that are running in the background. Now, um, something else um, you can do, and one of the most important functions basically of the task manager really is to enable you to end tasks that are causing issues or consuming a whole lot of different resources so to do this what you would do is just click on any of those and you end process very similar to what you do over with the windows task manager and then obviously if you see something out of the ordinary that maybe is using too much memory you can always just end that process and hopefully that will resolve any excessive memory consumption or CPU usage, as an example. And something else you can do uh, in Edge's um, task manager, you can also sort processes based on various things, like um, if we head up to memory and we click on that, you can sort and filter those processes and those tasks um, according to how much memory usage or CPU usage they are using. So you've got a couple of options there, as you can see. And... Uh, um, Another a key factor with um, the task manager found uh, in Microsoft Edge is if you right click on the task manager, you can see you can add extra components. So you can also see as an example, I mean, we've got a whole list here, but as an example, you can see your CPU time. Um, you can right click again, you can take that away and you can right click and then you can click on start time. So you can see the start time of every uh, process and the browser and so on. So a couple of handy options um, that you can look at regarding right-clicking and then just selecting some of those extra components. But nonetheless, just wanted to break this down. And just that's just a quick overview. Obviously, there's a lot more you can do. And if you fiddle around, you might find some handy little other options. But just wanted to break this down for you in case you're unaware that you can also monitor and um, have an overview of your browser's performance by using the uh, Edge Browser Task Manager that's built directly into the browser. Very similar, as mentioned, to what we get over uh, in the Windows Task Manager. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.